if somebody was getting ready to go to mission field, I probably would encourage them to, to see their calling to the nations, not as a to-do list from Jesus. Like he's not giving you a task, like go here and like build an orphanage or go here and like, you know, f meet this need as much as, as much as it is an invitation from him to walk with him in that land. I think for me, that was the biggest thing when we moved overseas is that we didn't see it as like, we were responding to a need in another country as much as we were responding to Jesus's invitation to come walk with him in that land. And so it made it worth every, it made it worth everything to, to get rid of everything, pack up the kids and move to the other side of the world because we weren't going to fill a need. We were going to be with him and when you're with him and walking with him, you feel needs because that's what he does. Right? He meets people and reaches them. And so I would say that's the thing is like, don't see your call to the nations as like, well, Jesus wants me to go do something for him as much as he wants me to go do something with him. And it's in that place that you can deal with the frustrations and the, the you know, the inconveniences that come with living in another country. It makes it so much easier when you feel like, man, I, he's with me as opposed to like, he sent me here to do these things. Yeah. And now I got to suffer for the gospel. I didn't suffer for the gospel. I enjoyed the gospel because we were with him. Uh, and so that's what I would say, man, if, if you're getting ready to go, like let that be the motivation of your heart, being with him in the nations, walking with him there. Um, yeah, yeah. coming off of the field, one of the things that I've learned is that the, the call doesn't change. You now he just invited us to walk with him here and it's it's challenging because there's you know parts of you like i i love you know where we were i loved our lives i loved the team we had i loved everything about living overseas uh but i just knew that it was time for us to come back and so the, because we felt like it was an invitation from the lord to come back and be with him here there was grace for it even though, and I, and I didn't feel like a failure when I left because it wasn't like, oh, well, we didn't build that orphanage or we didn't, you know, distribute as many of this or we didn't do it. You know, like there wasn't a task list that I had. It was, we're going to be with Jesus here in the nations and now we're going back to America and we're still going to be with him. And so I didn't leave the field feeling discouraged, like I missed it or like we didn't fulfill our job or whatever it was like man were we with jesus did we learn how to love him more did we learn how to love one, one another more yes uh and so coming back it's just been figuring out how do we flesh that that culture that we established together with the lord how do we flesh that out here uh back in america um and so that's the challenge but there's grace for it when you understand that he's not asking you to do it for him but to do it with him